Guardians. So get this. Imagine you're at home and you're sitting down and eating a nice, delicious uh, hamburger. But now imagine you're ready to sit down and eat that hamburger, but you don't have to have any of the guilt associated with eating a greasy and fatty hamburger. So say no to hamburgers. Imagine, and, and I'm sure you all know this latest health food craze, turkey burgers. Turkey burgers have become increasingly popular in the United States in the recent years. This is because turkey burgers are becoming, turkey burgers and health food in general are becoming more accessible and affordable to the general population. Nation Restaurant News in 2017 um, cites that 17% of all restaurants to now have a healthy turkey burger option. So despite this increased popularity, there is limited um, info regarding proper turkey burger preparation at home for the common American. So um, this, create, this accessibility does no good when a person can't go home and easily make this healthy alternative. Therefore, I'm going to provide you all with the essential steps to go home and properly prepare ground turkey burgers. So, the first step in ground turkey burger preparation is selecting your meat. So, the Mayo Clinic in 2016 uh, cited that they recommend people use a ground meat with less than 10% 10% fat content. Having a high fat ratio um, reduces the health benefits that you would have by eating ground turkey. But by having a really high protein content, you run the risk of having a dry and rubbery texture to your ground meat. Therefore, I recommend utilizing a 93% protein, 7% fat ratio um, when selecting your ground turkey. And this helps optimize the health benefits from your ground turkey and minimizes the, the uh, negative, risks, negative risks of eating high fatty foods. The next step in um, preparing your turkey burgers is to properly season and marinate the meat. The, so Kelly Foster, a popular health food blogger, cites that the third most common problem in turkey burger preparation is under seasoning your meat. When you under-season your meat, you have a really dry and tasteless turkey burger. So therefore, salt and pepper can go a long way in providing yourself with a rich burger flavor. Furthermore, you can marinate your meat. This will help create a diverse flavor um, of your meat while also providing moisture when cooking. My personal favorite is to use salt, pepper, a barbecue dry rub and onions. And this helps create a rich flavor from, um, of the turkey burger, but also provides a freshness and moisture to it during the entire cooking process. So now that you've, flavored, you've seasoned your meat, you can finally go ahead and cook your ground turkey. The USDA um, requires that you cook your ground turkey to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Undercooking your um, meat runs the risk of foodborne illness, but over, overcooking your meat will leave your turkey burger dry, burnt, and tasteless, and with a rubbery texture. So, myself and many other recipes call for you to use, uh, cook your ground turkey at 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. This, allow, um, this allows you to cook the tur turkey burger to the proper temperature, but also doesn't allow the turkey to be overcooked and burnt. Um, Kelly Foster, again, um, cites, um, again, cites that the, um, that you have to remain, uh, remain proactive when cooking your ground turkey. Otherwise, you run the risk of overcooking and leaving yourself with a dry and tasteless burger. So finally, you have you have cooked your turkey burger and you're ready to sit down and enjoy a nice and delicious healthy meal. 
So remember, uh, we have just gone over how to properly prepare turkey burgers in your own home. So it is, remember that it is important to select the correct fat to meat ratio, flavor your meat, and to cook it properly. By utilizing these three steps, uh, you will be able to create a nice and delicious healthy, tur healthy turkey burger in your own home. So now go home, turn on your oven, and go home and make your delicious, healthy food alternative. Thank you all. Any questions? Yeah, I have a question. So um, the turkey burger is like a beef alternative, you know, because beef is super hard to raise and like it, it's really wasteful just generally in addition to being not the, not the best for your health. So would you recommend using turkey and other beef alternatives like tacos or other beef, so, yeah. like beef substitutes? So yeah, uh, turkey burgers and tacos are also really popular. So our ground turkey and, <laughs> and tacos is really popular. And you treat it pretty much the same when you're like like you would with ground turkey. You would uh, throw it in a skillet. You would mash it up, allow it to cook, let it brown. Um, you don't. Um, it takes about five to ten minutes to let it fully cook and brown. Mm -hmm. But then you have that. You have the same um, meat, same high protein content. But you're really not. You're avoiding eating ground ground meats or the like, ground beefs, mm -hmm. which really are um, increasingly more evident not good. Questions? Why um, 93 to 7? So, 93 to 7 is, um, so I pick 93 to 7 for one because the USDA recommends that you have a uh, fat content under 10%, right? Um, so, the only available options that have that fat content under 10% are a 93 to 7 ratio and a 99 to 1. My own personal experience with 99 to 1 is a really dry, really rubbery, tasteless, hard to eat turkey burger. So I had a much more success by using 93 to seven. You have those still, those health benefits from eating ground turkey, but you don't have all that fat that's associated with like an 80, 20 ground beef. Um, go ahead, yeah. anyone else? Um, one hesitation I feel like people might have is they have to make it from scratch themselves. So I know they sell beef burgers, like pre-made, and you can just buy a beef burger. Do you know if that's a thing now, where you can buy so a turkey burger? You can, are you saying just buy pre-patty pre, pre pre Yes. Burgers? Yes, so definitely at Publix, I can tell you, I've, I have bought uh, pre-patty ground turkey. Um, they come in like four packs. They're really, again, turkey burgers are really becoming accessible to the general population. Four ninety nine for about a pound of meat, which is comparable to what you're paying for ground beef, too. Anyone else? Thank you all.